Yeah. Yeah. Boss talk one on one. Boss talk one on one. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. We doing numbers. Y'all looking pee wee. Y'all looking hungry. We looking greedy. Remember back then we were poor. poor. Now it's a unique hustle. Come shop at the store. Yeah. We don't never sleep. We on go. Go. 10 or 11 minute views all in a. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy E. C. O. And I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Well, I'll go on. Hey, man. Listen, this is a special day for me, man. God just keep dropping gems on me, man. And, and and to be honest with you, man, you never know. You never know what God is doing, man. He always got something to where he got something held back to where he can show you, okay, I did this for you. You didn't even see it, mm-hmm. man. So I met this guy, man, years ago, seven years ago or so, man. He came to my shop. He was like, man, I'm doing a cypher, man. I, I'm, I'm putting my artist in, man. We're trying to get it going, man. And he was so passionate about it. And I didn't know, really, and it's sad. I didn't even know his name. I just wanted to work with him. I didn't care. Say, man, we got that boy Prophecy in the building. Hey, 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 what's up, B? How you doing, man? Man, this dude here, man, he usually don't get in front of the camera. You notice I've been getting people in front of the camera that usually mm-hmm. don't? But yeah. most videographers or photographers don't ever get no, in they front don't. of the camera. They, they, they love being behind the scenes. Behind scene. the scenes. But creative work, creative work, that's what, and this guy, man. So what drives you to work like this, man? What drives me to work? Yeah, like, cause because I've seen, to be honest, it's because I've seen my father work. Wow, you know what I mean. Ever since I was young, like to be honest, that's what drives me because I see them like bro, he, they used to wake us up at five in the morning to go really? to, to go to work. Yeah, because they had to be at work at six, and then they had to drive me to somebody's house, and then they had to drive me to school, and then they had to drive back home, and I had to wait till like seven, eight o'clock till my parents got home, and then they were tired. Yeah, and then do that shit again all over. Again. All over again. Yeah. Man, I told, I told, I told them I don't, I don't want my kids living like that. Wow, you you but gonna change builds, the game? But it builds something. It builds character, though, right? You yeah. know, a lot of times I hear my husband because he went through things yeah, like I went that, through that with his dad, and you know we try to not do that for our kids, but it made you into the man yeah, you are. Right. You wouldn't want to change that for nothing. And sometimes we tend to not want to. We want to give our kids an easier life, yeah. but sometimes that can make them soft. Definitely not. Of course, and I, <laughs> no, no, and I, and I make my kids work because you know I I want them to see me work to sit, like that. that what motivated my dad worked all the time, so he still works all the time. Even when he's not working, he's doing something. He's yeah, moving he around. Can't sit yeah, down. yeah. He just doesn't sit down. He's just. I was like, if I if people think that I'm the hardest worker, but I looked at my dad and he doesn't stop. I'm oh. like, dog. Like I don't. I don't ever feel like I could outwork him. Yeah. Have you ever you know told him that though? Yeah, I told him that. Yeah. Okay. My dad, yeah, yeah, my yeah, dad, no, like, and just recently, way. just recently, over the past like two, three years, I've started to realize, you know, I've become a father, and uh, and I started telling my dad, I was like, like, you know, you inspire me, like, that's it's shit. something yeah, else, it's, it's something else, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Is so crazy, no, I did same, same way, thing same to thing to me. me. I did the same thing to my mom. Whenever I got married and I had kids, and I was like, oh my god, how you balance all of this? Mm-hmm. I called her and I was like, mom. I don't know how you did it. You're a super mom. Because to me, I'm like, until you're put in that position, until you have kids, until you have yeah. a mate, you know, you don't realize how much energy it takes to be able to balance time for mm-hmm. everybody, mm-hmm. you know, and then find time for yourself. So yeah. I told her, I was like, no, you did an awesome job. Yeah, man. So you, hey, man, when you first started out, so seven years ago when you came here, how long had you been doing that before you came here? Probably like two years. Two years. Yeah. And and you was did you did you know where you was going with it or you just kind of was just I was do, just doing, just what, doing I what you love yeah I love music I love putting artists on I, I, you know like at the time there wasn't a lot of videographers and especially and especially nobody was trying to put any artists on you know what I mean so I took it upon myself and I started creating these ciphers that yeah. was around the time where it was a big budget for a video. That was coming out of yeah. that time, you know, like when, yeah. when the majors would do a mm-hmm. video and, and you had already mastered the concept of understanding DSRs back then. Yeah, I was all right, man. Like I said, I wasn't uh, <laughs> looking back at my videos now. I wasn't the best. Yeah, 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 I mean? yeah. But I was doing something for, for, for the people around me, for the artists around me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what motivated me. At the same time, they were, you know what I mean? Like those I was doing for free, but, you know, they were paying me to do videos. It was like maybe two, three hundred dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the time, it wasn't a lot. No, no. But you know, it got to a point where I was doing so many of them. I was getting paid more than you right. know what I was getting paid right. out of the job. Yeah, right. yeah. That's crazy, man. I I sat back and I just like I said when I seen it was you. I started looking through all of it. And I seen like wasn't it Kevin Gates, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Mo three different people who all who who would you say the, the biggest, biggest artist you work with? 
in your eyes? Because that would be your opinion, really. The biggest artist I worked with? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I feel like Mo3 was bigger than everybody. Well, he was going to be really? bigger than everybody, yeah. You think he yeah, had it? Yeah, he, had yeah. he had it in him to to be you know like top five in the nation. Yeah, you yeah. Know I mean, not just here in Dallas, but you know he was just so so diverse. You know what I mean? That that's that's what I felt, and I felt it from day one. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's so that that that's crazy. Um, what I wanted to know is that um, you said you were working before you. While you were doing this, right? When you were younger. Yeah, yeah. So how long did it take you to quit your job and realize that you were making more money doing this? And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to do this full time. Yeah. Um, I mean, I had different jobs. And then uh, I finally got a job. I was like a, like a manager somewhere. And uh, they were paying me pretty good. And on the weekends, I was doing that. Mm-hmm. And then during the week, I was going to school too. Mm-hmm. So I was just, you know, doing everything. I was just moving all the time. And uh, it got to a point where, like, I made, like, $600 a week doing videos. And I was making about the same, mm-hmm. you know, at my job. And then I was like, man, I'm doing two. I can only do two because that's all the time I have. But if I quit my job, I could do four. Right. And now instead of getting paid 600 a week, I can make 1200 a week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. Um, so that's, I was so like, you know, you yeah, like yeah. How many years before you, re- before you just actually made that leap and jump into from when I started to, from to when f- you started from when I started to to when I quit it took me about a year and a half two years oh that's quick I was thinking you'd say like about three years or nah. something like that that no nah, but but I was working like I said I wasn't wow. just I was full time you know I was I wasn't a full time employee but at the same time I was full time on video and videos yeah like as soon as I would come home from my job you didn't sleep I didn't sleep no I, I, would, <laughs> I would go straight to the computer and then just uh watch videos or watch tutorials or mm-hmm. you know do whatever and then go to sleep at two three in the morning and then wake up and do it again so let me ask you how much you know now how much does that have to do with you and your research compared to someone actually teaching you the tricks and trade uh I feel like I could have got you know um to it a lot faster Mm-hmm. If I had like a mentor, you know what I mean? Like like you know back then like or well, even now like a lot of people don't want to teach, you know what I mean, the younger right, the younger right. kids like I mean there's YouTube and everything but it's it's nothing like being on set with somebody who knows. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like uh I think because they're scared of that person I guess taking their spot, yeah. being better than them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you tell me would you train somebody else who is aspiring? I mean, anybody, I try, any any young directors who come to me and be like, yo, how do you do this? Or I have questions, I try to answer all their okay, questions. Okay, awesome. You know, they, they either hit me up on Facebook, on Instagram, you know what I mean? Whatever, and like, whatever questions they have, I try my hardest to try to, awesome. you know, talk to them and be like, yo, this, this is how I did it. This is, you shouldn't, you know, maybe you shouldn't go this route. You know, this is what worked for me. This is what's working for me. This is how I do my videos. And You're rare. You know that, right? Because you don't have a lot of people who is willing to help somebody. Even you were just about to say that yourself. You yeah, know what no, I mean? yeah. Because like I said, uh, like I said, I was coming up, and when I was coming up, there was nobody, especially in right. the city. There was nobody who was, uh, you know. But but it, that that's how the culture grows. That's how the city grows. You know what I mean? Like there's not a lot of uh, Dallas isn't a big film city. It's not Atlanta. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's not uh, L.A. But at the same time, it's because if we had more directors, if we had more studios. If we had, you know, more people in the industry who were professionals, more people will come and there will be more work. So Dallas is mainly music. Yeah. Not but, film. But now the film the film industry is growing. But then but, I always heard, I always thought that film was mainly in, well, I know it's not Dallas, but I know like Austin. Yeah, Austin, Austin, there's Austin, a lot of film in Austin. Austin, is a, there's a lot of film in Austin, but it has, you know, a lot of corporate stuff, you know what I mean? You know, like, uh, you know, they, they shot some, com- uh, they shoot a lot of commercials and they shoot okay. a lot of stuff over there. But, um. Uh, I feel like Dallas is gonna be that next film city. You think so? Yeah, and I want to be one of the pioneers. Yeah, that, that helps. That helps the city. You know what I mean? Uh, be where it is, because that's that's what it needs. To, you know, like Dallas artists fly to Atlanta to shoot videos. Right. They shouldn't have to. Exactly. So mm-hmm. are you? Are you? Is that something? Well, you fit that that whole yeah. that whole. You put the work in. A lot of people hadn't put that. A lot of people can't. I can't say that about. But I know you've been consistently grinding the whole time. Yeah, man. Like I made it to a point. Like I don't just go out there by myself and with a camera and just point and shoot. It be like, yo, we shot a video. Like I try to show people that no, we, we need a team. So, if, if you budget up, if if they need the red, you go get the red. Yeah, yeah. It depends on the on the video. Yeah, like not all videos need a red. But uh, let's say like the Kevin Gates video, right? We had like maybe like a seven eight person crew on that set. You know, what I mean, if it was just me by myself, I could have probably made it happen. But, you know, what I mean, think about like a movie. 
when you go see a movie, how many how many credits are at the end? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's probably like thousands of thousands them. Thousands of them, yeah. Right. To make a movie. Same thing with music videos. You need at least like a, a small crew is like a 20-person crew in mm-hmm. Hollywood. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm trying to get people to understand here. That's what I'm trying to get artists to see as well because people don't know that. Artists don't know that. So when they, so I try to, tell, uh, I try to post pictures behind the scenes. Like, look, this is what we're doing. You know, it's not just one person, but look how the quality comes out. Yeah. Look, like, if, you know, if it was just one person, it would have been okay. But, it, you know, once you have a crew, once you have a, a, a team of professionals working with you, everybody specializing in their own, uh, in their own field, um, then you get some, then you get some magic done. You yeah. have your own crew? Yeah, I have a crew that I, that I've, uh, that you the, the, trust the, yeah. and know that. Of course, yeah. Okay, how many people? For sure, at least seven people. Some people, so you are willing to expand and build a, a of course, bigger. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He probably okay. doesn't show guys the way that them branched off too, uh, with all the years he's been in it. Yeah. No, the reason why I was asking because then our listeners might be like, "Man, I want to get on his team. How can I get on his team? Yeah. Let me reach out to you to try to, you know, shoot in my credentials. You know, see if you're interested. I'm very, I'm very picky. Okay. I don't just choose anybody to come work with me because I, I need a first. I need a. I need a. You know, I need to be able to trust you. Right. I need to be able to see that you're responsible, that you have what it takes to work. Because if you're not, if you're not wanting to do this as a as a career, you know, what I mean, I don't want you on my team. Like everybody on my team, I want them to to be successful and to be, and to and to be specialists at what they do. You know, what I mean, if you're gonna light, I want you to be a special, you know, a specialist at lighting. A yeah. Scene. If you're gonna if you're gonna work the camera, that's you better be the one of the best cameramen in the city. I like that because you got to make sure that they mm-hmm. level up because yeah. you you want the best quality. But it's hard to find that. How it's long did it take hard. you to find? It took, it took even a long time. Oh man, everybody be slipping, time, yeah. man. You know what I mean? At first, it was it was just like maybe two or three people, right? And then, uh, but those two or three people were solid. Were, were solid. You know what I mean? And then. Uh, and then I guess from that work, other people, more people started reaching out. Mm. Yo, hey, I want to go on set with you. Oh, mm-hmm. dude, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, I would put out like, I'm looking for an editor. And now I have so many people send me their videos and they were just amateurish. Mm-hmm. And then one dude sent me his video. I was like, okay, bro, you got something. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. So, All right, well, let me, so, let, me, let me toss you this video. Edit this for me. Let me see. Oh, okay. You turn it around this, this fast. All right, bad, bad. Let's work. Mm, no, I mean, that's awesome. That's awesome. I know that that takes that that that's it's crazy because we've hired people over the last we've yeah. been here fifteen years going on and yeah. and just you people walk in and out of your life you have to get used to that yeah because sometimes they, p- things run their course that's true. and I think a lot of times people be emotionally caught up in things where mm-hmm. they shouldn't be and it can cause your business to do better or do worse. But yeah. you have to be very selective too because when you took your time. And your passion to build your brand mm-hmm. and you researched and you did all of the footwork and all the person have to come in to do. Yes, they have to come and do their part, but they're reaping off of your benefit. Exactly. Really. Yeah. There's, you know there's some people, I mean? there's snakes out there. There's people who just want to come in and they'll be on set, you know, trying to take the artist, you know what I mean? Like, exactly. Yo, I, I shoot videos exactly. too. Or, you know what I mean? Or like try to take what you learn or try to take your team, you know, like let's mm-hmm, say a team that I've mm-hmm, built. Mm-hmm. Then try to go use it for their videos when they've only been around for so long. Like, like I said, I'm very, I'm very strong on, on 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 loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty. You know what I mean? Like, cause like if you're loyal to me, I'm gonna make sure that you're right. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, you see, you like, back here today. Yeah. That's loyalty. When yeah. I called you, didn't you didn't hesitate? I didn't hesitate because didn't hesitate because, at all. Because I when I that. when I came in here seven years ago and I was like, bro, I, I need a I need a spot, a location to film this yeah. cipher. You were like, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? No hesitation. No. So, so you showed me that, you know what I mean? Like, you helped me out. I'm going to help you out. And it's the same way. I try to yeah. help. I the all. I got a camera guy coming after to get through doing school today. Mm-hmm. I've always been the same dude. I done went through so many people who they either grow, they'll grow out or they'll do something to where I'd be like, yeah, go ahead and go, you know? Mm-hmm. But I always just try to help people, right? We've right. taken people to yes, L.A. Yes. We've taken pe- people yes. to Vegas, wherever, mm-hmm. trying to. And, and they would film because we, what we done, we started VRM, which was visual realistic media. And it was where we was doing little small commercial skits for like small, small businesses. businesses. Mm-hmm. And that's what we were doing. We were focused on that. So I had to have two or three people with me at all time holding the cameras so we could cut and edit and do loads or of Or flying the drone. Or flying the drone. We was doing stuff like that. Yeah. And, you know, I'm an engineer, too. I work for communications. So. I've been doing that for a long time. So when I when I met you and I seen you, it fascinates me anyway to see that, you know, going down. And I love music. Mm-hmm. So you got to love music. Yeah, you got to love music. Yeah. I, I love music. That's what got me in the game. You know what I mean? Like before I loved videos, I loved music. I didn't know that. I didn't know that people got paid to do music videos. I just, I just <laughs> look, like when people were like, you know, when I was young, they were like, what do you want to do when you grow up? 
I just want to be somewhere around music. Wow, that's wow. crazy. And that was from a young age. Yeah, that was from a young age. Like that 15, is crazy. 15, 16 years old. Like, what you want to do? Like, I don't know. I just want to do something with music. So how did you get in the camera? How did you get your first camera? How did all of that transpire? Um, I started working with cameras. I was like 16, 17 years old. I was in between jobs. A friend of mine came to me. She, you know, she was like, uh, hey, uh, my job, you know, if you're looking for a job, my job is looking for photographers. Do you know how to take pictures? And I'm like, hell yeah, I know how to take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like yeah. you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? We were, then, you know, I started working at the American Airlines Center for the Mavericks, the Dallas wow. Stars. That's a blessing. And the, and the Texas Rangers, you know, and every day that I would work there, I would work every game. So every game I would take like, Five thousand pictures. Mm. Wow, that's yeah. God, man. Yeah, so for like two years, and this so is, it was this her is the, camera you were using, or you went and the, the company's camera, the company's camera. Yeah, the okay. company's camera. Yeah, I didn't know how to use it. Like they just kind of like so you were practicing uh, really exactly. Yeah, I okay. didn't even know I was practicing. I didn't even know what I was practicing for. <laughs> is, just that a, is that God yeah, or what? Yeah, Be exactly. honest, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, that's just, they just put me. Yeah, it was. It's it's a uh, you just it, it's, it's crazy how life works. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean. So so I got good like framing. You know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Like started starting you know putting things in picture yeah. like where where the body's supposed to go. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Like, and then uh, I had a, I had a friend. Mm -hmm. Rhythm the M3. I had a, I had a friend, and uh, he was rapping. And yeah. You know he when he first started rapping, you know I was trying to rap with him too. Oh yeah, you yeah, go yeah, go yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna go in, but I'm like, gonna come you know down. I mean? but, I'm a bang screw. But uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what they do. What was your name? What was the, what was your what was your rap name? Prophecy. Oh, prophecy. Yeah. Can I find the old so mixtape? That's tapes? where the name came from. Uh, yeah, because I, w I needed a rap name. I wasn't going to use so, my, my real name. So. so did he give you that name or did you come up with that name? No, I kind of came up with it, came up that's with it on my own. That's hot. I, what made you come up with that name? I was in, like, as a young kid, conspiracy theorist, you know what I mean? Really? Like, like you know, just, like, ancient Mayan stuff, yeah. like Aztec stuff. And uh, just, you know, 2012, the prophecies of 2012, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I was like, bro, I'm, I'm going to create my own prophecy. Like, like this is. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I'm going to create my own legacy. That's awesome. So that's just kind of how I came up with it. So, so you, go ahead, I'm sorry. So, um, who, okay, going back to the first time you had that job and everything like that. So who was the first big, big, big person that ever approached you that wanted to work with you that, when no one was around, you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I just got it. Dang, that's a that's a real good question. I think uh, earlier on, I started uh, working. First of all, nobody came to me. Like at first, I was going out to artists. I was like, yo, okay. let me, let me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like one of the artists that were doing their thing back in the day were the high rollers. You know what I mean? So you know, seeing them on stage, like they were moving around, you know, mm -hmm. my, my record, my group label, like they were always doing shows. We were like, so I came up to him, I was like, yo, dog, like these are my videos. I was just shooting like little videos for my, for my homeboy. I was like, let me shoot a video for you. I'll do it for free. You know what I mean? So they were, they gave me the opportunity and then more, more Latin artists and, and other artists started seeing their videos and they're like, yo, you shot, let me shoot a video with you too. Mm -hmm. That's how, you know, kind of kept the ball rolling. Yeah. Next thing you know, I think I did one with like Lil Flip, Zero. Like they were just features, but when I was doing those features, you know, like these are artists that I it grew up feel on. Like okay, yeah, like right. these are I artists that so. I grew up on. Yeah, you know, what I mean, um, but which artist was the one that blew your mind when you had? To I think it was Zero. 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 Yeah, and it was just like a feature, but like you know, Zero was my favorite rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's favorite rapper. That's you know? right. That's yeah, right. everybody loves Zero, man. Yeah, Zero was my favorite rapper when I was young. So. um when I got to do that, I mean, he's not the most uh, approachable guy. <laughs> no, he never has been. <laughs> never has been. You know been. what I mean? So, but after that, I was like, okay, yeah, this is good. You know, I'm doing it. it. Like, like, like I'm, I, it's going. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, one day, like, this was a feature, but one day I'm filming a music video for you, bro. You know, like, you're going to call me. You, you know told I mean? him that? Nah, he, I didn't tell him that. But that's <laughs> what I'm that. telling myself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you supposed to feel did that way. Call, yeah. Did he ever call you eventually? Nah. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you basically, when you think about it, I... I remember we were selling Algiers T-shirts. Mm -hmm. Dan was real cool with him, the owner of Algiers. Mm -hmm. And he would be like, E, I can get zero to the store. But the way you said, like, his attitude was, yeah. as I looked at him, I'm like, nah, I don't think that's going to do me any good. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Even though it'll bring the people in, I just thought, like, the people going to come and leave mm -hmm. just to see zero. So I didn't want to waste my time. Yeah, yeah. But Dan was real good with him. He would go mm -hmm. sleep on his couch and go to Houston. Mm -hmm. You remember them Algiers T-shirts? Yeah, the guy named Dan Algiers. Yeah. And me and him was real good friends when those T-shirts was popping. He out of Ohio. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how he got over there. But so 
let me ask you something, man. So the biggest guy, you 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 say he inspired you. Well, he he made you feel like oh ah. But there's been people that you've seen grow who grew the most, like the artist Mo three, because you you yeah, did yeah. You, when you first start dealing with him till then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Mo three was the artist that I seen grown the most. Okay, that's you know what, what I, mean? I figured. Like you know, go literally go from nothing to to being able to sell out shows. You know, yeah. not only in your city but like in other states not as well. States. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's when, crazy. when I saw that, you know, I was a. Uh, I, I loved seeing that because I love seeing people grow. I, I like seeing people come out, and then to to know that, you know, what I mean, like. I was I was helping him in a way. I was part of part of the team. He like, would shoot. You, know, yeah, you would yeah. shoot the videos. I for would shoot him. the videos for him. Yeah, yeah. And then like if he need like I I need I wanted to make sure like to, to, I was telling three all the time. I was like three like we got to make our videos better. Like, really? We, yeah, we need to put a bigger budget behind this video. Like bro, we need to make you look like a superstar. And what <laughs> what, what did he say? Nah, nah, let's just shoot the video. You know, he was like he was never really. He wasn't. That. He just nah, wanted nah. to thug it out. Yeah, he just wanted to thug it out. Just shoot. And but the more like you know, as I kept on showing, I was like, look, this is what we got to do. Right. So so I got to Kevin Gates shoot. You know, what I mean, at that point, I, that's when he was really starting to see. Okay, yeah, yeah we got to do we, it. We have. I see. I see. Yeah. I see why we need the red camera. I see why we need this crew. I see why we need to pay this. Like he didn't. He didn't really was talking about paying all until the time. then. You know, until then. You know, what I mean, and even at that, I was a, uh, I was making a little bit off of those videos, but, be, but I supported. You, you know supported what I, mean? I, I knew. I knew the vision. I knew, I knew where it was going. Yeah. You love the movement for the city yeah, too. Yeah. What about uh Boosie when he came? Did you shoot that video as yeah, well? Yeah, I shot the like, apartments in the my apartments, apartments. Yeah, I shot apartments. I shot. That was a good job. It. Which yeah. one was the other one? You mop shot? with it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Mop with it, and then uh, that was a good one. Let me ask you a question: Do um videographers do they get any? What should I say? Residuals. From, residuals from, 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 from videos when um, it goes. I, I, I guess you whatever. can I guess you can work that out with a bigger artist or with like let's say if you want to have it in contract with the uh, with the growing artist you you might but like I think for for a lot of videographers who who are just still on the come up trying to grind we don't really ask for that really yeah, yeah, yeah you just yeah. get paid what you can we pay just get for paid the, yeah we okay, just get I paid just, I didn't know how it works but so when you write asking. you know that's what you were thinking about because you write you no because you get, I know artists when they you know where they're sing or whatever they get residuals from yeah. all their music so i'm like okay that's your work that's your video mm-hmm. you know i didn't know if they pay you it's a little percentage yeah. or whatever yeah i didn't know yeah. how that works but once you sign that contract you, you it is what it is or if you make <laughs> but, a deal but, you but, shake but, hands but like, but like you, you have to figure out ways you can't just think about you know getting paid in monetary terms because mm-hmm. you know you don't always get paid in money it's sometimes in some, sometimes it's in recognition you know, it's a, sometimes everybody wants to wants you to shoot their video for recognition, but like, one you have to believe in that artist. You know what I mean? Like, you have to believe it. Believe it yourself. Yeah, that, that is gonna that's gonna work out for you. Sometimes had, it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I had a Cam God on here, and I had a um, um, Sean Ovid Media that worked with ninety seven nine. It's so funny that all y'all got different styles of way y'all do things. Like Ovid Media, he do the recap videos where he talk about what happened the night of the party Mm -hmm. then you got cam god who's who's kind of like you he goes and deals with different artists you know what i mean but all of y'all got different ways but he do more of taking pictures at the club i I don't see you do much of that i used to back in the day you don't mess with that i don't mess i don't need to be out there no more yeah 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 like when i was young i had to be out there because i had to make sure that every artist who was coming up at the time knew who I was. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I was at, I was at all the shows, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And I did that when I was younger. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like at this point, I can be out there, but, why? you know what I mean? Why? Why, yeah. why do it? You know, I'm going to send my little guy. I'm going to send my homie. Yeah. I need to put him on now. Yeah, so you letting him get yeah, out yeah. there and get that shine. Yeah. And basically, he learning how to grind. Yeah, because that, that's how you learn how to grind. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so you did you ever do like recap videos like that for like different people? Yeah, I've done a couple, but yeah. like I wouldn't say any like crazy major artists because I wasn't in the scene like that. Back That's then. what I, I did it. I did it with a lot of local artists. Yeah, who, yeah, who yeah. Were coming up, you know what I mean? Um, because I was in that. I was in that underground. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Scene with all the with all these artists. That's what. Chun did uh, like Fifty Cent, or you'll see the one for a while and out when it was in Dallas. Like I'm sure that if I kept on going at it, I only did highlight. Shows then it would you would have got like, that too. Yeah, I, I would have, you know, but that was that was never my goal. So, what is your goal? Have you have you reached your goal? No. What is your goal? They <laughs> <laughs> don't have like, like that. What is your goal? No, uh, my goal. I mean, to be honest, my goal is to be able to have m- multiple businesses. 
you know, create, within yeah, yeah, w w the within, film within the film industry and within the music industry. And I mean, not only that, like I want to do events too. I want to be able to buy a venue one day, and, you know, and throw my own concerts, do my own, you know, like. That's okay. crazy. Like, yeah, like, I, I just, it's just different stuff. Like, it doesn't all have to happen, but, like, I have a lot no, of... No, you got to speak Goals and aspirations. I, I have a lot of yeah. dreams and goals that, yeah. I, that yeah. I hope to accomplish one you day. You got to speak it into existence, yeah. and then we capture that. So in the next, what, five years, we, we come back and well, say, you pro you're probably going to surpass it. that. You're I really, be like, yeah. you I hear you, here. the way you moving and the way the respect the people got for you, I wouldn't be surprised with whatever happened with you. Yeah, because um, you put the work down already. Yeah, and I keep on putting the work in. I, yeah, like it's it's all I do. And yeah. you're humble, and that's what I love. Oh, about you're very it. humble. That's what I I remember that even back then. Same dude, mm -hmm. same no change. Yeah, <laughs> being real, yeah. like just just a just a genuine guy. With the job that you have right now, you travel a lot, right? Mm -hmm. How does that play with you having a family? And you're gone all the time. Uh, my wife understands. She knows what I'm doing. She helped me with this. You know what I mean? Like, everybody tells me, how'd you do it? You know what I mean? You know, like, nobody ever invested a penny in me. My parents, like, my uh, my parents loved me. But when I told them I was going to quit my job, they were like, you're, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy as hell. You're, you're not like, going to yeah, do that. You're no, not you're not. That. Yeah, yeah. You know, my dad, like, you know, like I said, he works. So he's always worked for a company. And he he, and believe, what he, he believes that nine to five, you know what I mean, save your money, right. you know, do that. And I was more like... Uh, you broke the algorithm. Yeah, exactly. So what do they think about it now? Now he's like, I see you're doing it. You know, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Like, you know what I mean? Wow. I was like, I'm like, yeah, but you didn't want to invest in no... You tell yeah. him that. You tell <laughs> him like, Yeah, but you didn't want to buy me no camera back then. You know <laughs> what did he say? He was, like, he, he was like, well, whatever you need now, I got you. <laughs> I like, That's right. crazy. Yeah, so now, now I'm trying to go into business with my father, so that way he won't have to work. Right. So what, what, what are you going to do with him? I can't. I can't. You can't uh, reveal it. I can't reveal too much because I don't. You know, you hadn't done uh, it yet. I want to. I want to be. Because I want to be pioneers. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But I get but, it. But, I understand. But but, but I'm working on something with my father. I'm like, yo, invest this much money into me. If you if you really trust me, and believe it. Like, look, put this much mon amount of money in this. We're gonna be partners, fifty fifty. You know what I mean? He believe in you. Yeah, and he yeah. was like, he was like, whatever. At this point, he believes in me. Yeah. So what, he was like, okay. I was like, uh, like I, I got to make sure that when he retires. He's good. He's going to be having still money coming into, into his pocket. I get pocket. it. That, I get that's it. my goal, to have my parents straight. No, no, I get it. That's you know that's I mean? important, man. That I wish I had my parents, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, it, I mean, yeah. if I could have done it and had the time to do it and, and my, seen them at that stage. Yeah, life is a, life is a, it's short. It, it ends and it's short. You know, yeah. short, you know, you don't have your parents here for, for a long time, but I got, I got to try, try my hardest to, to, to make sure that all the risks that my parents did, you know, they're, they're immigrants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, they came out over here illegally. They, they, my, when my dad got here, he was telling me he was making $3 an hour. Wow. Right. You know what I mean? Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, like, I'll talk about, we like, for, like, the and first nine, yeah, for the first right. 19 years, I, I, I lived uh, in South Dallas, off Dixon, in the projects. Wow. Yeah, like, uh, but because my, my dad, they weren't making enough money. Like, you know, yeah, it was yeah, government yeah, housing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's how, you know, and then, but he worked hard. He, you know, and then he got he himself a house. Could. Yeah. yeah, he got himself a house. Could. We moved to Pleasant Grove. Wow. And, uh, you know, I always told my mom, I was like, I'm going to get you a castle. I was like, nine, 10 years old. I was like, mom, <laughs> one day I'm going to get you a castle. We're not going to be living here no more. You know what I mean? And she, she still reminds me, you still going to give me my castle? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, like, I'm like, all right, look, I'm going to. I, I want to see my parents, you know, see the the, the fruit of their labor, of like, the labor. like, yeah, yeah, right. uh, uh, of everything, all their struggle that you know that it's paying off. How I many siblings do you have? I have two others, two other brothers, younger wow. or older. Uh, both younger. Younger. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So my you my yeah, now now my younger brother he left his job and now he's working with me. Yeah. Oh, awesome. That's love. Yeah. That's, that's good love. when you can have family and they and yeah. they do right by you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's love. Man. I, I was like, how much is your job paying you? I, like, I got you. Man, we're gonna and we're you're gonna get more than that. Like yeah, you know, yeah, we're gonna yeah, like yeah, same yeah. thing. I want to open up a business with my brother. Yeah, fifty fifty. So that way my brother's getting paid. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you know, old is like, your brother? He's twenty five. Okay, so he's learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's learning. He already he edits for me. Wow. And then he goes on sets and he lights for me and he does like a bunch of different. He stuff. knows. Yeah, he That's knows good. that. So he's starting to. But like I said, um, I, I want to create generational wealth. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's my that's my ultimate goal. Yeah, where like, yeah. you know, my grandkids could be doing. Mm -hmm. You know, could be running these businesses. You know, what I mean, my my mind is like that's that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. And honestly, that's how everybody should be thinking. But people yeah. don't always. People think don't. Always it. I, I, but then again, I don't care what people think. I care what I, oh. I care about what I think. No, you know, you you dope, man. Like you're very dope. To be honest with you, like I was so proud when I've seen that was you. Like it's the same dude. This dude, they gave they loving you. Like mm -hmm. the people that I heard, and it wasn't just one. It was probably about five or six people. Yeah. But I never had no. I never looked. 
till mm. when I called you. Like when, when I start calling mm. you, you probably say, "Who is the dude keep calling yeah, me?" Because yeah. I kept calling you, but I didn't know if that was your number. I just knew that was somebody. Yeah, that yeah. It was on your page. So yeah, I was like, it's, it's my second with my business number. I don't know. I mean, I pick that up every once in a while. Yeah, I kept calling it. I said, "I'm gonna keep calling it because the dude got to know that I'm I'm rooting for him now." Mm. I didn't even realize it was you. That's crazy. Yeah. And I was like, "I'm gonna ask him to come on the show. Maybe he'll come on the show." You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the way I be looking at things. Like I always stay. I stay humble to 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 the fact of I know you guys are busy too. So if mm -hmm. you didn't come, I would have been like I still cut for you. I wouldn't mm -hmm. cuz I know business, man, and I I'm, I'm a business dude. So I would have understood. But you here now. And that's love, man, for mm -hmm. you to come on. You ain't been on nobody's show. And nobody been seeing him. And I get to do this, man. That's this God first for me. first ever interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's just and you know it seemed like Pleasant Grove cuz you say you're from Pleasant Grove now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it produces a lot of great musicians or great people who are because you told me about Rock T and Rock T. He came Rock from T. Do you know Rock T? Mm -hmm. That's my oh, guy. Yeah, I mean, I know of him. He be yeah. he come here he, too. He met him here mm -hmm. in um, the area because he used to work yeah. at like the dollar store yeah. around the street and whatever. <laughs> it's so, a crazy story. It's so crazy that y'all came from the same area and y'all mm -hmm. are doing so well in the yeah. music industry, yeah. film industry. Yeah. You yeah, know that's what I mean? there's a lot of talented people around here. Yeah, especially in Pleasant Grove, but it, nobody's put a spotlight on. Them, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And, and I hope to do that because I still want to work with uh, with younger artists. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like I said, I, I feel like you know maybe one day I'll put my own record label together. Yeah, he's that would be good. You know he's I mean? like 21, ain't he? Yeah. 20, yeah. 21. He's very young. Yeah. Yeah, and he but he do music for Money Man, but Little Baby, mm -hmm. Jonah Lucas, he yeah. he killing it. Like and mm -hmm. but when I first met him, I was his celebrity. <laughs> like he yeah. like unique hustle, man. He hugged me, take pictures. I always tell that story. But then I seen him just go. Like that's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, this dude just took off. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I think Bobby Sessions is from Pleasant Grove too, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, I, I, is he from Pleasant it, Grove? I, I think I think I heard that he was from Pleasant Grove and wow. uh, he just won a Grammy, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So it happened. Happens. It so can happen right happen. here in, in your, right in yeah, front of you. Definitely. So so who would you like to shoot? In in you, you know who who would you spot? To, like I want to shoot a video for this guy right now. Yeah, right now. I mean, it'll have to be somebody like somebody creative, like somebody who loves putting like dope visuals. Kendrick Lamar. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Travis Scott. You yeah, know, you wanna like, like, yeah, 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 you want to do it. You want to do it. Like, then you can take it there. Uh, yeah. What I is the most creative video you've ever done? Creative video, yeah, like like you talking about video? with after with, with effects like and all I say that. Creative, I think about like a Missy Elliott video. That's creative. Yeah, no, that's very creative. You know what I mean? Have the, the thing I, I don't, I've been saving a lot of my ideas. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do that I'm really like just having my in the back of my head, but we don't really have the budget to make it look the way I want it to look. Okay, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Some of, yeah, yeah, exactly. Those Missy Elliott videos you're talking about, like. At the time, like hundred twenty five thousand mm. dollar videos. And people don't realize how people expensive don't realize. It yeah, is. music videos were expensive. Expensive yeah. as ever. That yeah. was your major budget, actually. Yeah. Because even what's his name video, I fell in love with the other day. Um, Lerani. Lerani. Yeah. What was the name of that video? Mf <sighs> Mfers or Mf mm -hmm. some whatever. It was now, so throw. Now, now, now I, I love Little Ronnie's videos because like they always find a way to get really creative. Right. Yeah. Right. But with and, and stay within a reasonable budget. But like yeah, yeah. And he said that was his most. Expensive, expensive video oh, that he it? has yeah. done today. Well, he was fighting the guy on there, and I, I forget, have what? you seen that video? I need to see it. It's I crazy. Mean, it's, cra it's like this karate type feel, and he was the villain, and and like I told him when I watched it. Is it a recent video, video or a while? Back? It's a while, it's about okay, two years. I, I know what you're two years. About. Yeah, I it, yeah. And yeah. Like he was in a warehouse, and he's like, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That Alpha one. male shot that. I yeah. love, I love that video. Are you, are you familiar with the guy that shot that? That's how I got familiar with when they started shooting. When he the, shot that, okay, yeah, videos. yeah, yeah, Not okay. Just those videos, but I think that throw that ass in a circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like when he was doing those videos, yeah, like you know, he, they were getting really creative with. Uh, yeah, I like that creativity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because look to me, like I told him, I was like, it looked like he should have been in a movie because that's <laughs> that's how it looked. I don't yeah. like the music videos that just look so much like a music video. Yeah, it looked like seen from a movie, mm -hmm. honestly, and I loved it. Yeah. yeah, and like I said, I'm saving a lot of my stuff right now. Like uh, I'm just, uh, I'm waiting and waiting. No, no, I don't. And, and I don't now I've been talking to labels, and now I know labels. They still got that fifty thousand, sixty thousand dollars. Really? Budget. Yeah, they still got them. They're they're out there, but they just need a. They just need to be like they they can't just be like your profit here sixty thousand dollars go shoot a video. It's like no, like I gotta come correct. I gotta be like, all right, this is the treatment. This is the idea that we're gonna go for. I, I can Th see that. This That's is the, money. this is the budget list. This sixty thousand dollars, twenty thousand is gonna go to this. You know. Let's say twenty five hundred is gonna go to location. 
this is going to go to actors, it's going to mm-hmm. go to extras, it's going to go to lighting, this is going to go to lenses, to camera, like, you know, a budget breakdown. I'm not going to go and go ahead and pocket $60,000. No, it's no. just like when you go into a bank and get a yeah. loan, you have to give them your whole everything of how you're going to spend the money, mm-hmm. what you foresee, how you're going to make the money back, yeah. how you're going to be able to pay them back mm-hmm. within a certain projected time and stuff like yeah. that. You have to do all of that. So I feel like record labels, they, they, they want to give you that money, mm-hmm. but they just want to make sure, like, where's that money going to? Like, what right. are you doing with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So so I'm in the process of doing that and, you know what I mean, um, creating, you know, writing more creative treatments and then at the same time, you know, doing budget breakdowns and stuff like that. But, but like... Uh, I definitely, I want to at least touch a hundred thousand dollar music video. That's, 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 that's popping. That, that's, that's one of my goals. You that's know what popping. I mean? What's the most? What's the highest price video you've ever done to date? Um, budget wise, maybe like five to eight thousand. Okay. Which that, is, that was know? nice. And that's you still shoot, a pretty good you budget. Just, you jumping over all the other prices and going straight to the hundred thousand. Yeah. Well, it's like okay. Um, when I was doing two hundred dollar videos, I, w- I wanted my videos to look like five hundred dollar videos. Yeah. And then when I started getting paid five hundred dollar videos, I was like, okay, I'll make it look like eight hundred thousand dollar videos. Wow! And now when I'm at this this point in my life, now I'm like trying to triple, double, triple that. So if it looks like a fi- if you're paying me five thousand, I'm gonna try to make it look like a fifteen, twenty thousand dollar video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what's you up, man. I mean? So let me ask you this question: I got to get this out of you before I get you out of here. Uh, top three artists of all time. Of all time? Yeah, any genre. It don't ha- it, top Jesus three. Christ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we do it to everyone to come on the show. So it, 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 top three of all time, of all time, dead or alive. They, they, does it got to be in order? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> you, that's your order, though. Yeah, it's, it's not your top three. Order. It's your it's order. This is your opinion. It's what you heard. What made, what fascinated you? Man, man, it's tough, man. Because it's like I said, I love music. So you got it. You got to give it to me. Um, you got to give it to me. I don't know. I want to say. Number one, J. Cole. J. Cole. Yeah. J. Cole frequents Dallas, don't he? Yeah, I think he does. He yeah, does yeah, come yeah, to yeah, Dallas. Yeah. You'll be surprised. I, I, it's because like J. Cole's music is very relatable to me. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Like yeah. I, I relate to a lot of th- the stuff that he says. So he's like that middle child. So, so yeah, yeah. He's just like that. Uh, You know, so I, 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 I could jam J. Cole. Okay, J. You Cole. I mean? we, number one, J. Cole. Number J- two, probably Tupac. Tupac, yeah. Tupac number two, yeah. You know it's crazy, but this is you said you did. Yeah, you're no, that's my, your top it, three. Yeah, it's like how they relate to me. Correct. How, uh, the, the that's what that I try they, to tell everybody. The, the impact that they've had oh, in my life and any genre too. Yeah, if yeah. he didn't say that, any genre. I did say that. Okay, just I, I did sure. say that. Just want to make sure. I mean, I, mean, I can name a lot, he, but he loved rap I, music. I, 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 Stop no, playing. I, I love, I love rap. rock. Okay. Yeah, I love rock too. I love rock. I love, I love. He only got one more. You know, you know, three, UGK. That's my boy, man. Come yeah. on, baby. Give it up. Yeah. Give it up. That's my <laughs> guy right there. UGK. Boy, Y'all get yeah, that, man. man. That boy, Prophet. Hey, the boy done spoke a prophecy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> UGK. Don't you never forget it. We are in Texas, yeah, we, Dallas, it's, Texas. It's, that it's is. Texas Respect boy, the grind. Tupac was number two. Yeah. And number one was J. Cole, man. Yeah. I like J. Cole, man. J. Cole's different. J. Cole J. Go J. Hard. Cole's not for everybody. But he go hard. He, he go, go hard. hard. He if you listen he, to yeah, him, you listen to his music. Yeah, man, yeah, like yeah, he talks yeah, about yeah, stuff. You're like gonna he, get it. You're gonna get a message across. Yeah, yeah. And it's gonna make you a little bit better. It's gonna yeah, make your life yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, it's positive. I like that, man. Because yeah, it's gonna be something that you, you can ain't take gonna be you thinking somewhere. about shooting somebody. That's it. And that's right there. <laughs> so so was it ever a time when you was in a video shoot and you felt like it was gonna be some crazy stuff happening? You had to watch yourself? Yeah, all the time. That's what I was thinking because it was some, dealing some, with Mo three and dealing with I mean? hey dealing with the different a, the different beefs that was going on in no, Dallas. It had to be a tough thing. Now now to, to in this day and age, you know what I mean? Like you remember, I, I started shooting videos like six seven years ago. Yeah, and yeah, it wasn't yeah. Like this, it wasn't no. like this at all. Like, now, now it's like. This artist is beefing with this artist. I can't yeah. keep up. You with don't even know who beefing. Yeah, I don't even know who beefing. I don't even know. Like, damn, can I shoot with this person? Like, you damn, don't like, know. But like, then, but then, how how does that affect you? Like, do you like? Okay, well, if this person beefing with this person, I cannot. I do work with this person, but I can't do work with that person. Sometimes it be like that. Does that? Uh, it know, depends on how close the relationship is with the artist. You know what I mean? Like a lot of the time, like you know, a lot of artists work with me because you know they want to have a dope video. But I'm not like intertwined with their business, personal, you know. Right. Business is business. I can tell that business is business, business with is me. Business. You know but you know what I mean? when people are, I want to say stupid because of yeah. what they're doing. They don't care as long as you're associated yeah. with them. You know, mm-hmm. anything can happen. So that's why I was like, you know, does that stop your judgment with taking a job on? Um, not really. Like, um, 
I don't know, man. I, I choose sometimes. I choose my jobs kind of, you know, like I choose what I want to do, who I want to work with. Is the artist serious? Is the if the song doesn't sound good, like it's in do here. you ever turn a job yeah, down? Yeah, yeah. It's in here. Uh, I just don't call them back. <laughs> <laughs> but you hear me? I know where you coming from. Yeah, I can tell yeah. where your chemistry is, man. I you got know. great. Yeah, yeah. The way you are, your spirit is from here. Luckily, I've been. You know, no no artist that I've ever worked with has ever. You know. Fucked me over. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Everything, yeah. everything has been business. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You um, paved the way, man. You've done. You've done your just do do it in the mm -hmm. in the game. Let me ask you this. Um, so you 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 deal with uh, Rainwater, and you, you had yeah. to because he was managing Mo Three. Yeah, Rainwater, man. He uh, he definitely he's one of the guys that put me on. Yeah, him him and Three because uh, you know what I mean like uh, working with Three, any feature that 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 Three would do, they were like Prophecy got to shoot it. You wow. know what I mean? They're like it's gonna be this much, and they were, they were putting more money in my pocket. Let me ask you this: Is uh did uh Rainwater um uh he got other artists now? Are you are you still working with yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, Seven and Don Don. Yeah, like you know, we're working out deals where we're shooting multiple videos for them as well. Um, Shout out Rainwater, man! I've yeah. been trying to get him on the show because I really I I I I, I like. I like the way yeah, he worked with his artists. Rain, Rain did his thing. He always put his whole heart yeah. into what he's doing. He got, he and got, I never got to meet him, so I know you know more about it than I do. You know, he helped get three signed. He got Don Don and seven signed, you know what I mean? And now, like, instead of dealing with them, like, now I'm dealing with the record label. Wow. You know what I mean? So they, Don Don and seven signed. Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, I believe so, because they're, they're, the label's telling me. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, you know, like, yeah. No, you know. So, 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 like, now at this point, like, you know, so, yeah, Ray, Ray, shout out to Rain, man. Man, man. shout out to Rain Water. I, I, yeah. He's still grinding hard. Still grinding Everybody hard, that man. talk about him be like, yeah, he'll just keep coming and keep coming. Yeah, yeah. Like, he help, he go hard for his people. So, what's in the near future for you, man? Like, say this year, this the first, this the second quarter? Yeah, we're about to start. About the to start quarter. the second quarter. Where, where we at? Where we at? Uh, what, what's going on? You the you got the, you got the calendar, yeah, baby. Yeah, the ball's rolling. <laughs> yeah, gonna, you're gonna see by the end, by the end of the year. I'm gonna be know? watching, man. Yeah, now yeah. you know I've always been a fan, but I was a fan of the old prophecy. I didn't yeah. know about none of this other stuff. I'm telling you, yeah. none of it. Look, like, I, I was just a fan of what you did that day, and I used to tell people like, I had a guy come by here. I didn't even know your name. That's sad. Yeah. I'd be like, I had a guy come by here, man. He did uh, a cipher in my store. I never seen it to the day. Yeah. But I was so proud of that. And you go on my Facebook, I reposted, reposted. Like, I thought that was a big thing for the store. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, he came through, showed me love. Like, you thought I was showing yeah. you love, but it was vice versa. I was yeah. like, yeah, for him to come through and do that, I, I guess because I love music. You remember mm -hmm. the little girl I had working for me? Mm -hmm. She sung a song that day. Yeah. Jessica. Shout yeah. out Jessica, man. Yeah. She's still around, too. She still frequent the store. Yeah. So it's just love, man. Thank you so much, man, for coming on the show. You have anything have else? One more question. Okay, you so got it. Okay. If you could advise a young kid That's who one of my wants questions. to be in your position, so to say, yeah. coming up, I can help. How? What can you advise them from all the stuff you went wrong doing what you did? How can they learn from what you did? Look, the best advice I can give you is like work, work hard, work, work like it's like like it's a like it's a nine to five, because you're gonna have to work one regardless. You know what I mean? If you want to yeah. you wanna make money, yeah. you're either going to have to work a nine to five or work like you have a nine to five, but doing something that you love. Wow. Wow. You know what I mean? So if you're really dedicated to this and put eight hours a day, do this, do this eight, nine hours a day, like it's a job. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's, it doesn't feel like a job. But if you're just like doing it one day, right. two, three days from now. You know, maybe an hour at the day. That ain't gonna work like that. Wow. I, you know what? I just thank God I'm I'm connected to this dude. <laughs> you know, I like I feel like I got it now, man. I'm like I'm connected, <laughs> man. When he moving, I'm moving. I'm like, yeah, I know him. But really, I do. You know, it's like it's genuine. So I really love the fact that, like I say, God have a way of putting things together where you know it was him, it wasn't you. So when I seen the picture, I'm telling you, I was like. I no, no hesitation. I said, I know that guy right there. <laughs> Even though we just met that one time, that's mm. crazy, man. Because I, I, you don't remember uh, yeah, nobody. I forget. I'll be forgetting. Time, like yeah. <laughs> people be like, "Yo, we met before." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> like, 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 bro, like, I, I but just, I promise, I, when yeah. I seen you, I knew, I knew that it brought me right back to that yeah. day we was here. And that's when I started blowing your phone mm. up, like, what's up, man? What you doing? I did the same thing with Taylor left here too. Mm. I was like, one day it was like Taylor in the NFL. I'm like, what? 
I'm going to hit that dude. I know that dude. He used to do push-ups with me. So it be like that. God's been yeah. good to me, man. And God bless your family, man. Your Thank family. You. I wish you much success, prosperity. Man, I know that you're going to do bigger and greater things. And if you do a little film and you see a little spot for E up in there. I got you. You know what I'm talking about? Where I can do, I'll can. i be the old dude. If I have to shave, I will. Yeah. You know, if they have to do, they take your tooth out to do the movie with the teeth out. You know, whatever oh, I need mm. to be. You know, I can act. You know, just don't forget about me. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, man. I ain't never forgot anybody who helped me out. <laughs> I promise no. you, I'll get in that thing, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I, I'd love to be in a movie. Wouldn't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could do a cameo. No, or, no, eventually I want to shoot a movie here in Pleasant Grove. That's what's you know up. What I mean, like, that's my goal. Maybe that's bring the story yeah, into yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bring bring you know, but I want to make it like a Hollywood movie. I don't want. Oh to yeah, be you like, want to be nice, yeah, no yeah, low yeah, budget, no low budget. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you got to make it nice. Yeah, you got to make it popping. You know what I mean? So if we do something, it's gonna be somewhere. Some big, some big. Yeah, gonna look real nice. Yeah, yeah, we put yeah. that budget behind. Prophecy, it. we want you to shoot a movie. Okay, we got to shoot in Dallas. That's what's up, man. Yeah. It's coming <laughs> to Dallas. So do you, awesome. have, do you? What other cities you go to? You go to Atlanta. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I go to Miami. Miami, LA, LA a lot. Miami and L.A., that's yeah, what you and, really... and Atlanta. I've gone to Atlanta a couple times. Yeah, but too. but you shooting in Miami and L.A. Miami and L.A. is the two of the cities that I shoot the most in. Yeah. And it took off for you. Like, people there, they know you. It's a blessing because I've I've gotten to meet people in L.A. that helped me out. And okay. I've gotten to have people in, in uh, Miami that helped me out. So if I need something, if I need cars, boats, girls, houses, whatever, I got, I got my guy. be like, yo, bro, we need this. And they come with it. Wow, that's love. That's why you know he, he on yeah. the right track, man. Mm -hmm. So thank you for coming on the show, man. I know your time is so valuable. Be safe going on your trip. I know you're about to go out of town. Yeah. So, man, hey, man, we love you here. Don't let it be another, what, seven years? Exactly. You can't do that no <laughs> nah, more. I'm going to come here shopping at least. You can't you do know, that no more. Times. It's love. We've been, we been we connected, and we real respect it, right? Mm, yes. Say, man, Boss Talk 101, we out. And we out. <laughs>